so good morning now i start the the assembly section which is the part c and first i will start with screw jack then i will go with the plumber block and then machine driver subsequent consequently i will go there so if i give a brief introduction regarding the screw jack screw jack is a device which is used to lift the heavier objects we know that basically the best example where we use the screw jack is you can see the lorry terminal or anyone who are passing through the lorry terminal you can see that there will be a jack which will use to lift the heavy loads so not much going to the deep into the what do you mean by screw jack how it will be each and everything that will be covered in the theory class this video is only to give a brief about how to draw a 2d how to convert a 2d part into 3d how to convert 2d part into 3d and then assemble it and then assemble it so now i move on to the 2d part how the part drawing will be given in the examination and how to read a engineering drawing and all detail i will go so this is the part drawing of a screw jack which i referred it from uh, machine drawing by K. R. Gopal Krishnan. In that book, the part drawing which is given in that book is clearly specified with all the dimensions. So, if I see the screw jack, there will be a totally seven parts will be there. The first part is the body. Second goes with the nut. Third screw spindle. Fourth cup. Fifth washer. Sixth countersink screw. And the seventh one is Tommy bar. So, you see the diagram. The body is the one the second one is a nut second one is a nut and the third one is a screw spindle and the fourth one is a cup and the fifth one is a washer and the sixth one is a screw and the seventh one is a tommy bar so if i see that first a engineering graduate or a student should be able to read a drawing and understand the drawing he must be in a position to read the drawing so you may some get some ambiguity indicating that uh, sir for the first, first part there is only one wave and for the second part uh, there is two waves are there for third part is also one wave and for fourth part that is the one is the front view and second one is the top view if all the dimensions is clear to depict in only one view he will be given with only one view if any one of the dimension which is which cannot be given in one view mean that if it is not depicted in the front view then we can give one more view that is either it may be a top view or it may be a side view it may be a top view or it may be a side view so now i will come with the part 1 that is body so if i see that in all the in screw jack in all the parts there are some reason where there is a hashed part hashed part that mean that you should draw that and then it you have to revolve protrude then you will going to get a 3d part so in order to draw that in order to draw that there will be some dimensions he has given accordingly we have to draw that first if i go on drawing it i will take this as a reference point I will take this as a reference point. So he has given 70 mm till the end. So 70 mm for a whole body, but I am taking with respect to the center. So I will, the distance from here to here is 70 by 2, which is 35 mm. So from here 40 mm I will come down, and I don't know this much distance, but he has given that from here to here it is 77, 70, and from here to here it is 66. So 70 minus 66 will be 4 mm, and this 4 mm is distributed this side and this side. So 2 mm will be here and 2 mm will be here. So from here to here, I will draw a 2 mm. And then this angle I don't know. This angle I don't know. So I will stop it there. I will stop it there. Then again I will come back here. So we know that from here to here it is a 50 mm. So from here I can take it to 25. From here, I can take it to the twenty-five. 
from here to here i will take it as 25 and i will drop one vertical line because i don't know from the distance from here to here so i will drop one vertical line so f again from here the total length of the body is around 185 mm so from here to here i will draw one 185 mm line and from here to here it is totally has given it as a 140 so from here to here it will be 70 so 20 mm I will move in the upward direction and one more hint he has given it is the 100 mm so 50 mm will be distributed this side and 50 mm will be distributed this side so from here to here I will take it as a 20 mm because 140 minus 100 which will be a 40 so 40 is distributed 20 this side and 20 this side so from here to here I will draw 20 mm and from here blindly I will connect it to the end point of this 2 mm I will end point of this 2 mm I will stop it there I will stop it there then I will go to the offset command and I will offset this line I will offset this line by 10 mm I will offset this line by 10 mm and then I will leave it as it is. So again from here I will draw on 3 mm one line and I will from here to here I will draw on 50 mm line and I will connect it to the bottom. Then I will extend this offsetted line till it will intersect here and I will trim the line where this vertical line and this inclined while co coincides. I will trim off the remaining line and then here I will do fillet here also I will do fillet and here also I will do fillet with radius 8 mm so if I draw this much the part body part will be completed the body part will be completed and if I do it revolve protrusion I will going to get a 3d part of the body so now the same thing I will draw it in solid edge yeah yeah now I opened the solid edge so till now you have used only one module that is a drawing module but from the part C mean that for assembly onwards you will be using two more modules so one module is solid part and the second module is assembly part so in the solid part you will go into create a 2D object into 3D you will convert 2D object into 3D and in assembly whatever the 3D parts which you have created in the solid part you will assemble in the assembly module so now I will move on to the solid part I will click on the solid part immediately the environment will be there so the theory part are the different commands and all I already told you in the theory class so I will not much concentrate on the command part so directly I will go to the sketch and then I will choose the front plane I will choose the front plane so I will go on drawing this so I use the line command and I will take this point as a reference so from here as I told that I will move uh, 35 mm to the right side and 40 mm to the down and it is 70 minus 66 which is 4 mm that is 2 mm that side and 2 mm this side so I will go into take 2 mm and I will stop it there I will stop it there then with this end point as a reference I know the total length of the body is around 180 mm so I will draw that 180 mm and the bottom length is 70 20 and 140 minus 100 which is 40 20 20 will be distributed and blindly I will connect this to the end point of this fit next thing at the bottom I will go 3 mm and 50 mm and again 3 mm I will come down next I will go to the offset command a single offset I will select this line and I will offset this line by 10 mm and from here again from the end of this it is a 25 mm so I will draw one vertical line because I don't know this distance so where this vertical line under the inclined offset line will coincide there I will trim that 
and then I will use the extend to next command and I will extend it to here then I will use trim command I will trim these two lines and I don't need this line also I will trim that line next I will go for fillet command I will fillet Here also I will go for fillet command. Again, from here to here fillet. He has given this radius as 8 mm. Keep it. So if I see the dimensions, so like that, these are the dimensions. So these are the dimensions. Now I have drawn that hatchet part. So this is the hatchet part there. So the same thing you can see in the part drawing. So now what I do is I will go back return. Fit. I will go for reward protrusion. I will select select from sketch. And I will select this sketch. I will accept it. It will ask you click on a line in which the sketch is used as a revolve feature axis. I will select this line immediately. I can here type it as a 360 degrees or I can select it revolve rotation by revolve by 360 degrees. So now it will click on finish. So now the body is completed. Body is completed. Now I will save this. as I already you have to save it in E drive by named a folder VC with your USN something into this again you need to create one more folder named screwjack here you can go on saving your parts for the first one underscore body next I will go to the nut so the second part is nut so here central axis I will take it as a reference so from here it is 50 so from here it will be 25 mm I will draw one line and then 10 mm I will come down and total 90 minus 50 which is 40 mm so 20 this side and 20 this side so from here to here it is 20 mm again 10 mm again 20 mm so from here to here it is 45 minus 10 minus 10 so that is 25 mm from here to here and I will close it I will close it in the top view we can see it that's inner circular there is a hole that is that is a hole of internal square threads of 38 mm diameter so from here to here I will take a 19 mm and I will draw one line 45 mm line for at a distance of 19 mm from the center I will and then he has given the fillet as radius as 5 mm so here I will do fillet here I will do fillet here I will do fillet and here I will do fillet and I will reward protrude and I will reward protrude I will going to get a nut after getting a nut he has given one more instruction that there will be a internal square threads of 7 mm pitch that also I need to draw I, how it has to be done I will tell you so I told you how to draw uh, that uh, square threads so now I will move on to the solid edge and I will show you how to draw this so I will close this and again I will create a new part and I will select sketch and I will select the front plane midpoint reference I will draw first one line of 45 then 25 10 to downward 90 minus 50 which is 40 20 20 so 20 this side 10 down 20 this side and a 45 minus 10 minus 10 which is 25 mm down. and then I will enclose this sorry enclose this. 
so now from here again internal it is a 38 mm so that is 19 mm I'll draw a vertical line go to the trim command I'll trim this next I'll go for flat from here to here the radius is 5 mm he has given so from here to here it is 5 mm here to here it is uh, 5 mm so this is the hatched part so if I see the dimension So now I will return, I will select revolve protrusion and I will select this sketch, I will accept and I will make this as axis revolve protrusion by 360 degrees. So in order to create the square threads, so what I do is, go to the hidden modes, I will create sketch I will choose the front plane and I will create a square of 1 mm or 2 mm so I will take and position this square in such a way that the half of the square will be inside and half of the square is outside half of the square will be inside and half of the square will be outside and also I will draw one axis line I will go back I will select helical cutouts now I will select the helical cutouts it will ask you to select the sketch so I will select this sketch and I will accept click on the line in the sketch to use a revolved axis so I will select this axis so click on the start end of the helix so I will click I will start from here and it will ask you the pitch in the figure he has given the pitch as 7 mm and click on next and then you click on preview you can see the square threads on inside so click on finish and save this as 2 underscore nut 2 underscore nut now moving on to the part number 3 so which is the screw spindle So here he has given it as 22 mm is the total so from I will take I will draw a half part and I will revolve protrude it I will revolve protrude it so from here I will draw 11 mm one line and a 13 mm one line 11 mm one line and a 13 mm one line and from here to here distance I don't know that is to be calculated that is 65 by 2 minus 11 so 65 by 2 is 32.5 minus 11 that much from here to here so again from here to here I need here to here I need the total distance is 83 minus 13 83 minus 13 so I will get this point and from here to central I will draw one blind line next from the mid of this the total length of the screw spindle is 240 mm so I will draw on 240 mm one line and 19 mm one line and I will draw on horizontal line and where this horizontal line and this vertical line will intersect I will trim that line there next I need to do the chamfer here I will select the chamfer command so after I need to chamfer here so I will go for chamfer command and I will give you the setback distance as 10 mm and 45 degrees and I will do chamfer here and here 
then i will go to the revolve protrusion i will go back i revolve protrude it by 360 degrees revolve protrude it by 360 degrees then i need to draw the square threads so the same, same thing there i also have created a 2 mm square in the nut here also here also i need to create a 2 mm square of the nut sorry 2 mm square and then place half inside and half outside and the length of the square thread should be 240 minus 83 minus 3 you can see that there is a 3 mm offset so 3 mm there will be no any threads so the total length of the thread should be 240 minus 83 minus 3 mm so i will create the square threads of pitch 7 mm then here there will be a countersink hole there will be a countersink hole of m12 and the thread distance should be 30 and the total hole distance should be 35 so i will use the hole command and then i will go to create that so now i will go to the solid threads and then the draw this close this solid part and i will select the front plane only so from the mid mid of this the total is 240 mm so 11 mm and 13 mm to the down and to the left the total it is 65 by 2 65 by 2 minus 11 65 by 2 is 32.5 minus 11 32.5 minus 11 next i need to come down i need to come down the come down distance is 83 minus 13 83 minus 13 next i will draw one horizontal line so from here the total is 38 so 38 by 2 is 19 and i will draw one vertical line where these two line meets there i will trim off i will trim off then i will go and select the chamfer command and i will give the angle as 45 degrees and set back as 10 mm and here also i will give select this next i will go back sorry i will show you the dimension so these are some dimensions so i will go back i will select revolve protrusion select the sketch i will accept then i will make this as axis and revolve protrusion by 360 degrees finish then i will go for sketch and i will select the front plane i will draw a square of 2 mm i will position this square in such a way that the half of the square should be inside and half of the square should be outside and i need to select the axis the axis length is 240 minus 83 minus 3 90 degrees i will go back select helical cut out select the sketch i will accept and i will select the axis start end of helix is this and the pitch is 7 mm and i will preview now no, the square threads finish here I, i need to draw a hole so directly i will select the hole command select this face i will fit i will go for hole options i need a countersink hole i need a countersink hole of diameter 12 mm m12 so countersink angle automatically it will going to take it and i need a thread 
I need a thread it is M12 thread so I will select M12 S select M12 and uh, thread distance is 30 mm and the hole is hole depth is 35 mm I need a V bottom this 35 distance is excluding V bottom I can see clearly from the picture we will click on OK and then I will position it exactly at the middle. I will go back. It will ask you, you need hole in the top or bottom. I need at the bottom. Then. Then. Can you see there is a color change? Can you see that? So now for Tommy bar, I need to draw one uh, hole. So I will select the go to the sketch and I will select the right plane I will fit it I will fit it the distance of that is 35 mm from here so I will zoom it from the end of this it should be 35 mm I will take a circle end of this I will draw a circle of 12 mm go back cut out select that hole I will accept I will select can you see that it is going only on the one side so there is one command here called a symmetric cutout sorry cutout symmetric extent you click on that both side it will be and in the figure it is clear that it is a through hole it is clear that it is a through hole so it is a through hole so finish your part is ready so it is, I will save it with screw spindle. Yes, now your screw spindle part is ready. I have saved all that and then I will go for next part. The fourth part is a cup. The fourth part is a cup. So you can see that only you create a half part and then you reward protrude it by 360 degrees. The first thing what I do is from here to here I will draw one line of 22.5 by 2 that is 11.25 11.25 and I will draw one line of 12 mm and then from here to here 22.5 I will draw one line from 22.5 I will draw one line then from here to here 42 mm and there he has given a diameter a maximum outer diameter is 65 so from here I will draw one line of 32.5 mm and I will join these two I will join these two and this line I will offset it by 6 mm this line I will offset it by 6 mm and from here I will draw an horizontal line where this line and this line meet I will trim there and I will close this and I will revolve protrude it I will revolve protrude it and also and also there is are two cutouts are there of uh, 5 mm radius so I will select two different planes and I will cut out here and here I will show you in the solid part so now I will move to solid part solid edge solid part I will select the front plane fit it so first what I do I will select the mid midpoint I will draw a 42 mm on line and then from here to here 22.5 by 2 that is 11.25 0 and 12 mm I will move up and also from here 45 by 2 and I don't know I will leave it there so from here I will draw 65 by 2 line and uh, blindly I will join these two so I will go for offset command single line offset and offset this line sorry I, I will offset this line by 6 mm I will offset this line by 6 mm so from here I will draw an horizontal line where this line and this inclined line meets I will trim there this line also I will trim I don't need this I don't need this and I don't need this too I don't need this too. So if I see the 
distance between distance between this two this will be something so it is offset 6mm offset distance between 42mm so I will go back I will select revolve protrusion select this sketch I will accept and then this I will show it to the axis and 360 degrees then I will sketch I will select the front plane and I will draw a circle of 5 mm radius go back select cutout select accept symmetric extent you can draw a circle and then you can cut out or you can draw only a semicircle and then you can cut out now I will select the sketch and I will select the other plane again I will draw a circle go back cut out symmetric extent I will cut it out I will save this part as cup I will save this part as cup next I will move on to the fifth part which is washer special so it's very damn simple you draw a circle of 35 mm diameter and protrude it by 8 mm and then go to the hole command there you create a countersink hole of countersink diameter 25 and normal diameter as 14.5 mm and the countersink angle is 90 degree and cut it out and this chamfer he has not specified this chamfer distance this we need to be calculated that in that in detail I will tell you when I come back to the fasteners chapter how to design a washer there you will learn in detail how to design hexagonal headed nut and bolt with washer assembly square headed nut and bolt with washer assembly and a stud so I will go to the solid edge close create a solid part and for this I will choose the top line I will select a circle of diameter 35 mm will go back protrude I will protrude it by 8 mm I will protrude it by 8 mm and I will go for hole command select this face and I will go to the hole all options I need a countersink hole mm units this diameter should be 14.5 and countersink diameter should be 25 and the countersink angle is 90 simply you give that to hole extent hole depth extra quarter click on ok I will locate it go come back come down setback simply you give it the 2 mm finish save it as phi underscore washer the next part is screw so from here he has given it is a 24 mm so 12 mm I will draw one line 12 mm I will draw one line and blindly at some angle I will draw one line and I will make sure that the distance between the end point of this to this is 6 mm 6 mm then from here to here I will draw 30 mm line because length of the screw is 30 mm so from here I will draw I will draw a line of uh, 6 and then I will join these two where that line will intersect there I will then go to the thread command and I will create a thread of M12 and here I will draw one small groove and then I will cut it out that groove I will cut out that groove I will go to the solid edge close solid part for this I will select the front plane 
first I will select the total length of the screw as 30 mm and 24 by 2 which is 12 mm and at an angle of 45 I will at an angle of 45 I will draw on line next go to the distance between the distance between this to this should be 6 mm next from here 6 mm then I will join these two next I will go back revolve protrusion select the sketch I will accept it I will make this as the axis revolve protrusion with 360 degrees finish then I will go over a thread command straight thread select the cylinder this select it as the M12 and click on finish click on finish next again I will select the sketch select the front plane I need to cut a groove and the groove the width he has given it as 2 mm and the depth he has given it as 3 mm so from here I will draw 3 mm deep and 2 mm so if I go to the small dimension this is 3 mm and this is 2 mm We'll go back, select cut out, select the sketch, I will accept it and I will be a symmetric extent, yes I will finish it, I will finish it, now the screw is also ready, I will save this screw, 6 underscore screw, 6 underscore screw, next is the last part which is a Tommy bar last part which is a tommy bar so I will from here I will start 6 mm in the top 6 mm in the vertical direction and 62 mm in the horizontal direction or to the right so I don't know this angle I know at this angle but I don't know to what distance I need to stop so what I do is from here I will draw a line of 45 degrees and I will stop there so from here the total length of the tommy bar is 275 mm so you, from here I will draw 275 mm and 10 mm to the vertical direction and horizontal to the left I will draw a line blindly where that line and this inclined line intersect there I will trim off I will revolve protrude it and here I will do fillet or round I will go to I will show you same solid part for this I will select the top line so from here 6 mm 62 mm in the right and at an angle of 45 I will draw on line blindly fit it so again I will go to the line command so from the end of this point 275 is the length of the tommy bar and 10 mm so I will draw this where this line and this line meets where this line and this inclined line meets there I will trim off go back revolve protrusion I will select this sketch I will accept it select this as the axis revolve protrusion in the figure he has shown it should be fillet but he has not given the distance so around I will select this and approximately I will give a 5 mm approximately I will give 5 mm preview I will finish I will save this part 7 underscore Tommy bar so now you have drawn all the 7 parts mean that you have converted 2d into 3d you have drawn 3d part of the 7 parts now it's the assembly now you need to assemble the parts 
so for assembling what i do is i will open a part i will first i will open a body then i will go file create assembly the template it should be a normal dot asm keep it as it is and click on okay so now i am in the assembly environment so here you need to show the part file so you need to go to the part library and you need to show the path where your parts are so my parts are saved in e drive with the folder name vc you with your revision screw jack you can find all your seven parts here so sometimes you may not find this edge bar so for that you click on tools and click on edge bar you can find that here there will be a parts library will be there and you need to again show the path it is a e drive vc screw jack so above the body there should be nut so i will drag this nut and flash fit this should fit inside this and also go to the assemble flash fit this surface should fit on this now it is flash fit now it is perfectly fitted now above the inside this nut the screw spindle should run so i'll drag and drop the screw spindle i'll click on assemble flash fit this external thread should mate with this internal threads external thread should mate with this internal threads so move the part move part only to move part if this is rotate this is free move so i need to move only in a vertical direction so i will select this and i will move this finish after this above this there should be cup so i will bring this this should fasten with here and this face should be on this the next is washer this surface this washer is the next is screw i will take the screw flash fit this screw to the this one and i will select the front view fit and i will move this part can see it exactly clearly i have placed the screw there yes this is the part till 6 now i need to assemble a tommy bar so i will take this tommy bar and i will go for flash fit this should be fasten here and i will go to select the front view fit it i will move this tommy bar yes go to the solid mode finish this is the assembled screw jack this is a assembled i will save this as screw jack assembly i will save it as screw jack assembly but in the examination they will ask you either it is a cut section part either it is a half sectional view or a quarter sectional view so for doing that 
for drawing that half sectional view or quarter sectional view select go to the PMI and click on section once again I will show you go to the PMI and click on section then choose the top most part select the top view and select face of the cup fit it so from here yes so from here I will draw quarter part quarter part I will go back and it will ask me it will ask me whether which material has to be removed the rectangle which you have drawn that much material has to be removed or in excluding that remaining material has to be removed that it is asking me sorry sorry there is some uh, I selected the wrong plane so if you select like this what happens you can see it only that much material will be cut it off that above that material will not be cut so you should be careful while cutting so what I do is I will select go to the PMI section and select this because this is the topmost one I will fit said material has to be removed next select the front view so you drag it down well below your part if you stop here only till here the material will be cutted if you drag here till here it is cutted so you complete material has to be cutted so click on preview yes you can see clearly now I will go for the isometric view Yes, finish now I can see it it is a half quarter part is cut if the half uh, half section view here has asked me the question so you cut one more half you will go into one more quarter you will go into get the half section so I will file save as screw jack assembly quarter section will save this select save this next you need to create it as a 2d 2d so go to the file create drawing normal dot dft template click on next choose the view orientation as front view click on finish you want to get the front view fit choose the different size click on ok so here the view which you have obtained is complete 3d part complete full section but in the problem he has asked you sectional front view sectional front view so to enable that sectional front view you right click on this and go to the properties there in the sections tab there will be one section called as section 1 click on that section 1 and click on ok after that there is one command called as update views click on that update views now you can see this hatched part this is the quarter sectional front view this is sectional front view but in the problem he will ask you two views one is sectional front view and second one is top view sometimes he will ask top view sometimes he will ask sectional top view 
so there is a principal view command click on this and come down you will get sectional top view but in the problem he has asked you only a top view sectional front view and top view so for this right click properties you uncheck this section 1 click on ok and then update views you got it sectional front view and a top view sectional front view and a top view so you save this as screw jack screw jack 2d here you need to write your usn and your name so after the 2d part now i will show you the exploded view of this screw jack so for that i will open the existing document that is screw jack assembly complete assembly i will show you open it and then i will go for applications explode render animate here i will click on automatic explode i will accept it i will click on explode now it is automatically exploded now i will rearrange it so to clearly see the arrow mark i will uh, edit that have it so i'll move this part a bit nearer so i will fit it so from this i can clearly see that so at the bottom there will be base body will be there upon that body there will be nut above that there will be a screw spindle above that there will be cup washer and then there will be screw and tommy bar used to rotate the screw spindle so this is exploded view of the screw jack so now this completes the assembly of a screw jack Thank you.